Her Excellency Samia Suluhu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania. Her Excellency Katalin Novak, President of Hungary. We are delighted to have you here in Tanzania, a land of so many beautiful things, including Zanzibar Island and many national parks, the lovely food and the lovely people. Uh, in front of you are journalists from various uh, media houses, but before we hear your remarks, Your Excellencies, we'd like to start with the signing uh, ceremony of the Memorandum of Understanding for Stipendium Hungaricum Program, which will be presented by the Minister for Education, Professor Adolf Mkenda from Tanzania, and the State Secretary, Mr. Tristan Asbej from Hungary. was so quick. Thank you very much and uh, sorry for keeping you standing, Your Excellencies. And now the journalists are ready to hear remarks, starting with uh, President of Tanzania, Samia Suluhu Hassan. Karib San. Thank you so much. Your Excellency Katalina Novak, President of the Republic of Hungary, Honorable Ministers from our two countries here present, senior officials from our respective governments, distinguished members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today, our country has made another historic milestone with the two female leaders, both presidents of our respective countries, meeting here at the State House in Dar es Salaam. I wish to once again express my profound gratitude to you, Your Excellency, my dear sister, President Kathleen Novak, for honoring us with this, in, with this visit. It has been a great pleasure to host you, and you are very much welcome in Tanzania. Karibu sana. Distinguished members of press, ladies and gentlemen, during our bilateral meeting, which has been particularly very productive, we had an opportunity to discuss a wide range of issues of common interest and mutual benefit to our two countries and peoples. Indeed, we have reaffirmed our commitment to enhance cooperation between our two countries in the identified strategic areas. We have also exchanged views on how our two countries could strengthen cooperation at multilateral level. This is in line with Hungary's desire to reinvigorate its relation with Africa, which is an important undertaking given the geopolitical and strategic position of Africa in international relations. Let me seize this occasion to highlight some of the areas that we have covered in the course of our bilateral meeting. 
on bilateral relations, we have renewed and reaffirmed our commitment to strengthen our relations by exploring new areas of cooperation for the mutual benefit of our two nations and peoples. In addition, we have agreed on the importance of establishing diplomatic consultation between our countries. I, re I repeat, we have agreed on the importance of establishing diplomatic consultations between our countries. This framework will enable our two governments to interact and hold greater consultation or regular consultations on areas of mutual interest agreed upon. On trade and investment, we have noted with concern the low volume of our bilateral investment and trade, which is in 2022 stood at 4.2 US million US dollars. It is true that the trade between our countries remain marginal, but there is room for improvement and expansion. In this connection, we have registered our commitment to explore more opportunities, maximize untapped potential, as well as promote business and investments between our two countries. In another development, we discussed about the possibility of encouraging investors from Hungary to invest in strategic areas such as renewable energy, tourism, ICT in service delivery, mining, fisheries, manufacturing, and finance. I wish to reiterate my government's commitment to render the necessary facilitation and assistance to the Hungarian business community wishing to invest in Tanzania. Dear members of the press, on education, Hungary has been an important partner to Tanzania, particularly in higher learning education. Together, we have been able to advance our cooperation through the Stipendium Hungarian Program, Hungaricum Program. It is in this context that I'm gratified that today we have witnessed the signing of an agreement intended to strengthen our cooperation in the education sector. This just signed agreement is coming with new approach, of which Hungarians or students from Hungary will as well benefit on the scholarships coming to Tanzania and studying in our universities. So for this year, we're starting with five, while Hungary, they are taking about 30. So we are starting with five, and the number will keep on increasing. On behalf of the government and people of the United Republic of Tanzania, I wish to ex express our gratitude to Your Excellency, Katalin, the President of Hungary, the government and the people of Hungary, for this support. Thank you. On tourism, over the years, Tanzania and Hungary have been enjoying excellent cooperation in the tourism industry. In 2022, for instance, Tanzania received 7,188 tourists from Hungary. Well, this is not a huge number, but it is significant and the highest number of Hungarian tourists to be recorded in Tanzania. Your Excellency the President, we believe that after your visit to our beautiful country, more tourists from Hungary will visit Tanzania. We also invite investors from Hungary to come to Tanzania to explore opportunities for investment in our tourism sector. And of course, I've extended in an invitation to yourself Whenever you are in vacation, please feel free to come and um, visit Tanzania. Members of the press, on gender equality and women empowerment, as I explained in our meeting that the issue of gender equality and women empowerment is one of our top priority in my government. And I wish to thank Your Excellency 
Madam Catalin, as I'm pleased to know that we share the same aspirations towards the advancement of these crucial aspects of women empowerment. In our bilateral meeting, in principle, we have both agreed to put women empowerment, gender and child development in the top agenda of our bilateral and multilateral engagement. On multilateralism, our two countries attach greater importance to the multilateral cooperation. And in this respect, we have agreed to continue working together on various issues of concern or of converging interest to our two countries, including supporting each other's candidature for the various positions in international organizations. Finally, it is my firm conviction that the outcome of this working visit will lead to a stronger, closer, and more dynamic relationship between the United Republic of Tanzania and Hungary. Your Excellency, Madam President, allow me to conclude by thanking you once again for visiting our country, and I hope you will have a comfortable stay and unforgettable experiences while visiting our tourist destination, Gorongoro, Arusha, and various places in Moshi. May I now invite you, Madam President, to deliver your remarks. Thank you so much. Welcome. Dear Samia Sluho Hassan, dear President, uh, uh, dear friend, and dear ladies and gentlemen, first of all, this is a, a milestone in the relationships ship of uh, Hungary and Tanzania. Today marks uh, this milestone also because the first elected female presidents of our countries meet. And uh, I find this very meaningful that uh, we are not, I'm not only the first uh, ever Hungarian president visiting Tanzania, Tanzania on an official visit, uh, but uh, also I have the chance uh, to speak to each other as women leaders, as women presidents of our countries. And that gives us the chance and gives us also the responsibility. Gives us the responsibility to encourage young girls and women in our respective countries not to give up on their hopes and their dreams and uh, not to give up on motherhood either. We are both not only women leaders but mothers. And uh, we both agree that uh, motherhood is a very important part of our lives. And no matter how far we got in our profession, we would have never given up on motherhood. So we would like to encourage young girls and women all around the world in our, in an, and in our countries uh, uh, not to give up on either, on becoming a mother or on being successful in their professional lives. I represent a European country, a country of the European Union, a country, Hungary, which is not very big. We are only 10 million people and a little bit more than 90,000 square kilometers. But uh, we are a respectful nation. That means that when we come to Tanzania, we want to get to know you. We want to understand the, your mentality, your way of life. We don't want to intervene in your internal politics, in your internal decisions. We would like to understand. We are respectful, and uh, we very much uh, appreciate that you are also a respectful nation. I think this mutual respect can be the basis of our mutual cooperation and uh, of our friendship. So that is uh, with this respect that we came today to Tanzania, or yesterday we arrived and we are here in Tanzania. Uh, we spoke, of course, uh, with the Madam President uh, about uh, the very difficult, demanding situation in Europe, also in Hungary, because Hungary is a direct neighbor to the war hit Ukraine, and we suffer from the consequences of this war. We received so far almost two million refugees uh, from the Ukrainian war, and uh, also we suffer from the economic consequences of the war and everything surrounding it. 
We also lost Hungarian lives because there are Hungarians living over the border in Ukraine. I uh, told this uh, to Samia, to Madam President as well, and this is something that of course uh, is of our major concern. We did have the chance to speak uh, about our histories, to understand each other challenges and the solutions we find, because our meetings give us the chance to learn from each other. We don't want to lecture the other, but we would like to share the good practices and also the bad experience. And we are both ready and open to learn from the other's example. Thank you so much, Samia, for this very open and sincere discussion. One of the main areas of our cooperation is education. Education is the key for our future. It's the same in Tanzania and it's the same in Hungary. And the possibility that we offer to Hungarian and Tanzanian young people is uh, to not only to learn and study in the other country, but also to get to know the people, to get to know the language, and uh, by that to give them the chance to better uh, or be more successful, I would say, in their respective countries. The Stipendium Hungarian program is a scholarship program fully financed by the Hungarian state. And there are 12,000 students from all around the world studying right now in Hungary due to this scholarship program. There are 90 countries being involved, among them Tanzania. And today's signature, today's agreement, uh, gives us the chance in the coming three years to offer scholarships for Tanzanian students to uh, study in Hungary on our costs. But today is a milestone because uh, the content of this cooperation changes. It becomes a mutual offering because uh, from today on, there will be also Hungarian students who can study on the expenses of Tanzania in Tanzania and so they can also learn the language. They can also get a higher education, uh, which they wish to have here. And they can then later profit from this in Hungary. And the very good news about uh, the Tanzanian students who un up until now came thanks to this scholarship to Hungary is that they later on return to Tanzania. So our idea is not to extract uh, the best uh, educated people from Tanzania to come to and stay in Hungary, but to offer them the chance to study and then later on returning back to their homeland, profit from the education they achieved in Hungary. So thank you so much, Samia, for offering these scholarships for the Hungarian students. And I think that there will also be Hungarians who will later on be the ambassadors of Tanzania in Hungary because they had the chance to profit from this scholarship offer offered by the Tanzanian state uh, to the Hungarian students. We spoke about our economic uh, relations and there we agreed that uh, there is still a room for maneuver. There is uh, still a chance to improve our economic uh, relations and to intensify our economic relations. We would like to increase this uh, relationship and we would like to increase also our uh, external commerce or uh, the commerce between the two countries. And for that reason, next year, we would like to organize a business forum in Hungary linked to the visit of Madam President and bringing together the stakeholders from the business sector of both countries so that we can find the, the areas uh, of uh, um, improvement or the areas of investment uh, for the investors from both countries. We are very much open to this uh, in the future as well. We also spoke about demographic challenges. Hungary is in a completely different situation than Tanzania. Uh, and uh, we have a de declining population. We have uh, low fertility rates. Uh, and uh, we are working on that very hard. Uh, in Hungary, there has been a family-focused uh, policy in the last decade. We also see now the consequences, the positive outcome, but we are still uh, have, have are still having this challenge. And for that reason, uh, I also invited Madam President to attend uh, 
the Budapest Demographic Summit. And as long as she has other commitments that day, she was uh, so kind uh, to offer the presence of her vice president in Budapest, who is going to attend the Budapest Demographic Summit in September. Uh, I also invited Madam President uh, to come to the meeting I organized next year for women heads of states of the world. So next year, I'm going to hold a meeting, a summit for women leaders from all around the world. And Madam President assured me that she will be present. And one more very concrete step we made that uh, Madam President, dear Samia, you were so kind to join the network of the family friendly presidents. So together we are now two women in this network. And I think that we've been, we need the women presidents present also in the network for family friendly presidents. So we made very concrete decisions also today. And uh, you can count on me as a friend in Europe and on Hungary as a gateway for Tanzania to, to Europe as well. Thank you so much for the sincere discussion. And I very much hope that we can do our utmost in order to enhance uh, our bilateral cooperation. Thank you. Thank you very much. We may now go for our lunch. Tanzania ni kama nyumba wote mna haki ya kujenga so siache mlango wazi ili yenye misha hodi vizazi na vizazi vifaiki matunda ya kodi najibunia utanzania wenye power na wa karibuni chakula cha mchana i invited guests you're welcome for a luncheon <laughs>